Hey guys, welcome back to Heroes in Action CTS, Drills Make Skills. Right, I'm out here with Sabrina Kastner, and the next segment that we're going to demonstrate is what if somebody comes up and grabs you in a bear hug from the front? Um, so for the first version, and usually when somebody grabs you, again, it's not because they're just going to grab and cuddle with you, it's because they're going to grab and pick you up. And it's a way of abducting you, like me taking you into a van or into a room. So she grabs me. I drop the body weight by, instead of stepping out, I want to step back. I still want to latch on to her clothing. From here, I can shoot a knee to the leg. I can still pinch the inside of the leg. I can grab the flesh on both sides of the arms. Here's a new one for you if you just practice clapping. Sabrina's not going to like this. But she grabs me, I drop the latch on, I take my hands, and I'm just going to slap her, her rib cage, which creates that reaction. And all I want to do is grab the flush and create space. From here, now I can work on all of these other options, whether it's an eye, an elbow, a shoulder strike, to hurt her so I can get away. Um, so I'm going to grab Sabrina, she gets the beat on me a little. First thing she does is she drops the body weight by stepping back and she latches on her clothing. Now she's created some space. She could knee me from there. She could pinch the inside of the leg. There you go, it's right there. She could flesh grab my arms. She could slap and grab my rib cage. <laughs> That's paybacks. Okay? And what she wants to do is create space. Now, the other option is she could also bite my neck. Okay? There are no rules. Anything that you could do to get to create space. The more space you create, the more opportunities you have to elbow, gouge, uh, pull me in the shoulder, uh, and then push me away and get to safety. So I'll do it one more time. I'm glutton for punishment on this. I grab her. As you guys grab her partner, she drops her body weight by stepping back and she latches on so I can't pick her up. She can knee me. That's an option. She could pinch the inside of the legs. That's an option. She could flesh grab the underneath my arms. That's an option. She can slap and grab the rib cage. <coughs> That's an option. She could bite my neck, you know, take a bite out of crime. That's all to create space. Once we've created more space, then you have more options. An eye gouge, an elbow, a shoulder strike, another knee for good measure, and take off and run. So at the end of this video, practice slowly, re you know, refer back to it as often as you can, and we will see you on the next segment. If you have questions on other types of scenarios that we haven't covered yet, either email it to me or message me on Facebook. Say, hey, can you demonstrate what you would do in this situation? Challenge me, because I always like a good challenge, and we'll come up with solutions to problems that you might, have, uh, you might go through through your training practice. Have fun, and we'll see you on the next segment.